You're just joining us at 10 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Bart Bedsall. And I'm Heather Skold. We will start off the hour with a KRDO 13 Investigates follow-up. It's about the Penrose Funeral Home, where nearly 200 sets of decomposing remains were discovered inside the Return to Nature Funeral Home. The health hazards that investigators found within those walls have now led the Environmental Protection Agency to call for a complete demolition. KRDO 13's Tyler Cunnington joins us live outside the property in Penrose after speaking with families and community members about what they think should be done there. Tyler. Yeah, Bart, Heather, after the EPA surveyed this building back on November 15th, they determined the only way to get rid of the hazardous and other biological hazards within the building would be to demolish it, a process that's now set to happen sometime in January. It will serve as an opportunity for all those grieving families to finally get another step towards closure. But they also told me they hope the property can be used as a way to remember the near 200 victims involved in this nightmarish investigation. I'm glad it's going to be torn down. It needs to go. You know, it, it's hard to look at. It's really hard. The dark cloud that hangs over the Return to Nature funeral home in Penrose and all the families whose loved ones were found decomposing inside will soon be lifted. The Environmental Protection Agency has ordered that the building be demolished sometime in January, something families are grateful to hear. I think it'll be very therapeutic for all the victims. To me, it feels like their souls will finally be at peace. They weren't laid to rest how they were supposed to be. Once that's complete, both Mary Simons and Jasmine Mastis say they'd love to see a memorial honoring all 190 victims at the property. Just a nice little park that the families can come visit and feel like people care to about what happened to their loved ones. To help all the families come together one, like again and help support each other even more. Even though we might be strangers to, e to each other, we're still some sort of family. Another lifelong resident of Fremont County told me he completely agrees with the idea of putting a memorial in. However, he thinks the owners of the funeral home, John and Carrie Halford, should be the ones to pay for it. Meanwhile, the couple is set to make their first appearance in El Paso County Jail, Paso County Court, excuse me, tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. For now, reporting live here in Penrose, Tyler Cunnington, KRDO 13 Investigates.